Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about ESXi from VMware version eight. We're gonna be installing this into VMware Workstation. So if you guys haven't watched the live that I did last weekend, I believe, it was on installing Active Directory 2022 or ADDS. And what I did there was get prepared for the series that I wanna be working on now, which is the VMware series. So I'm gonna be installing, I think I have like 20 video ideas or 20 videos that I jotted down, installing, configuring it, adding to Active Directory, and a whole bunch of other stuff that we have going on here. So stay till the end, we're gonna be learning how to install it, configure it, add it to Active Directory and all that good stuff. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And if you guys are ready for some fun, let's have some fun. All right, folks, so I am on my, my machine now. And as you can see, we have the Windows Server 2022 up and running. You can see it here, I have DNS. And I think I need to make this a little bigger. I thought I did, but let me make it a little bigger, like 175, just for now. And we can see here ESXi, this is the IP address that we're gonna be assigning this, 192.168.100.51. All right, so let's go ahead and, first of all, you have to download. Let me go ahead and open up a Explorer and let me go ahead and get to those. I don't even know where they are. I think they're on my, my NAS device. And let me find that, sorry. And do, 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 do. All right, so let me bring that over here. So you can see here, there's two ISO files the VCSA and then the VM installer. This is what we're gonna be installing. So I wanna actually copy this really, you know what, I'll pull it right from my NAS, that's fine. So I'm gonna put this off to the side. All right, so let's go ahead and go to uh, file. Let's just go to home really quick on this computer and home right up here. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new virtual machine, typical. And I wanna go ahead and browse to the install file which is my computer, my NAS, ESX, right here, ESXi 8. All right, so let me go ahead and go to next. It's gonna be a VMware ESXi server, see if they have version eight, they don't. So version seven is fine for me. And I'm just gonna put ES, uh, ESXi 01, because this is my first one. And I wanna put it in a default location for now. That's fine for me. If you wanna go ahead and change that, you can. And I wanna assign 200 gigs, okay, 200 gigs. That should be fine. I wanna do a single uh, single file, right? So, so if you have a split file, you're gonna be splitting that. Since this is gonna be an ESXi server, we're gonna probably gonna install smaller VMs on top of that in the future. So I just wanna have it one single file. Yes, it's gonna take up 200 gigs, which is fine for me, okay? So for now, I wanna add, I'm gonna put 32 gigs. I'm gonna do four processes. That should be good for me. And so if you remember from my, my first video, uh, we'll get to that in a second, but it's going to use a custom NIC, which is VM net eight, which is gonna be natted. I think that should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and close that. And that should be good. So let's hit finish here. And I wanna go ahead and throw this into the, the folder with VM servers. So what I was trying to do is I have a little note here. Let me make sure you guys can see it. This is from the original video on Windows Server 2022. My IP address subnet is 192.168.100.0. That's what we created. And we're gonna use VNet8. And then my ESXi, we're gonna put it at 192.168.100.51. I'm just gonna throw that off to the side so we have it for later. And now we can just go ahead and start this bad boy up. Uh, do, 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 that's fine. We have to go ahead, let's see if I have to fix that. So let's go back to processor. Let's disable this. Let's see if that fixes that issue. Go ahead and hit play here and wish hope for the best. So let's click inside of it. We're gonna hit enter right there, so to do the install. And if you are using VMware Workstation, which I recommend if you're following along, 
Um, you can just use control or uh, left control alt to exit the VM capture when you're captured inside of your VM. So we'll give this a few moments to install. It shouldn't take more than five minutes. This install is super, super quick. This video today is just how to install ESXi or VMware ESXi uh, uh, version eight, right? So, and then we're gonna assign the IP address. We're gonna do all that and make sure it's communicating on the network. We'll log into our, our 2022 machine and make sure data is traversing between both of the virtual machines, all right? So let's go ahead and just give this a moment, shutting down, it's probably gonna reboot and do its thing. And I wanna move this over just to over here. And there we go. So we're running VMware ESXi 8.00. The kernel build is, you know, 20, 51, 30, 95, or 97. And this is what I'm running. You know, I signed it 32 gigs. And if I have to change that in the future, so be it. We can make that modification before we start installing VMs and all that stuff. But I think this is a good start. Eventually, I'm probably gonna have three or four virtual machines. So 32, 64. So it's gonna be about 128 gigs of RAM. Or maybe I can always, you know, if, if things start bogging down, we can always change this. And if you guys don't have the full capacity to run everything we're running, just do it whatever you can, right? Obviously, the more the merrier, but if you don't have the resources, no big deal, right? And on my local machine here, on this machine, I think I shared what I have on my other machine, on the other video, but if we go to system, I'm running 192 gigs of RAM and I'm running a i9, right? So this is a pretty, pretty decent machine. And the other machine I have is like 128 gigs of RAM a thread ripper. So I decided to build another machine with a, you know, an Intel processor instead of uh, AMD again, but I still have that machine. It's over there. I I'm still going to use, utilize it. I'm probably going to change the video card because it has an older video card in it, but yeah, maybe I'll just make that a, a, a password crack and rig, just install some 4080s or 4090s in it and uh, call it a day. All right, so we'll just give this a moment and uh, see, let's see if I hit enter here, nothing. So let's just give this a moment and see how long this takes. All right, so here is the welcome. So what we're gonna do is hit enter to continue here. Press F11 to accept, right? So let me hit F11 and it's gonna go ahead and scan. It's probably gonna find our 200 gig. I, I think I assigned 200 gigs to our drive right there. Let's go ahead and hit Enter to continue. English is my language, so we'll hit default and put a root password. Okay, passwords match. Let's hit enter. And error, finding blah, 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 blah. Let's hit enter. Yeah, that's fine. Because it didn't have anything, let's go ahead and hit F11 to install. And now it's gonna go ahead and install ESXi on that current drive. There was, none, there was nothing on that drive as it is. So now it's gonna go ahead and install the ESXi server onto that. And then once that's installed, it's probably gonna pull a DHCP server from the server that we currently are running on that NAT network, which is probably gonna be, if I was to guess, let's see how, <clears throat> excuse me, let's see how good I am. It's probably, I wanna say it's gonna give it 192.168.100.52. That's gonna be my guess. Because I think if I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, we assigned that DHCP scope, or maybe it was a 5200 to 252 or 254. I don't remember now. Let's go ahead and check out DHCP's server while this is booting. I believe it's that. So let's just go ahead and check. Let's go ahead and edit. I wonder if we can edit. Yeah. So let's go ahead and DHCP settings. So it's, so I don't know. This is super small probably, but it's 192.168.100. Well, I guess these. Excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. So my starting starting IP address is 192.168.100.200 <clears throat> and it ends at 254. So I'm assuming it's probably gonna be like 200. Maybe my this IP address would probably be 200 or 201. So let's see what our IP address is that, uh, th that it pulls from DHCP. All right, so let's go ahead and just remove the media. That's okay, hit enter. Let's remove the media. 
virtually remove it. And then once you reboot, it should start and we should be golden. So let's give this a moment. Okay, folks. So to manage this host, we're going to go to 192.168.100.202. So it pulled 202. So obviously we're not going to use that. We're going to use a static IP address, just like you should configure any, any server, right? Especially an ESXi server. So we assigned this dot 100.51. So I want to click inside here, hit F2 to customize, and then put my fancy password that no one can hack. All right, so in here, we're going to go ahead and configure management network, right? So D, uh, IPv4 configuration, so let's click on that. And then we're going to go and hit the space bar, and then we're going to make some changes, right? So let's go ahead and change this to 51. That's gonna be my gateway, that's fine. Everything else is good, hit enter. And I wanna to go to DHC, I mean DHCP. Uh, I wanna to go to IPv6 and I wanna disable this. Of course, I don't need IPv6 discovering anything. DNS configuration, let's go ahead and do a spe specific DNS server. So it's gonna be 190, whoops. 192.168.100.50, no, what's, what's my, uh, give me one second. It's going to be the, the server 20, uh, 2022 server. Let's, let me log into this. All right, let me just go into, let's just do an IP config really quick. We're gonna have to open up CMD anyway. So 100, right? So let's go ahead and go back to our ESXi server and do 100 and the secondary is going to be Google. I'll make it Google and then local host is going to be ESXi01. Okay. Hit enter. And we're going to do a custom DNS suffix. So in our case, it's infosec pat in my case, dot local. That is my uh, suffix. And I think that should be it. So now let's go ahead and escape. And yes, I want to reboot. And we'll give this a moment to reboot. And once this reboots, let me log out of this. Let's go here and let's go ahead and ping 192.168.100.51. Right? Because that's going to be the server. So let's wait till this reboots. And once this reboots, we should be able to hit that. And once we're able to hit that, we'll try to log in and make sure it's good to go. So let's make sure we can get, let's make sure I can uh, browse. Let me just do HTT, oops. HTTPS 192.168.100.51. Okay, we'll give this a moment. Once this is started and everything is booted, it's not gonna, it's not hitting it yet. L let me try to ping it. <clears throat> All right, now it's pinging. So we are good with communication. So let's see if it's actually fully booted yet. It's not fully booted yet. It's still starting some services. Once those services, oh, perfect. So now we can get to it. I guess it, I guess it started now. So let's go ahead and go to advanced, continue, All right? So this is the ESXi uh, login. So I'm gonna use root for now, and then my fancy password. Uh, let me see if I put that in correctly. Yep. All right, so you can go ahead and hit okay here. You know, it's, it's an eval. This is all for learning, so we're not gonna activate it. We can X out of here on the right-hand side. And this is it. You have installed your first ESXi server. And yes, we have a little storage for 200 gigs and, uh, you know, networking, we only have one, but we're going to get all into this in further, further videos, physical NICs. We only have one physical NIC, uh, virtual, uh, VM kernel NICs and all this stuff. Obviously we don't have no virtual machines yet. And yeah, so this is it. So now if you, you know, want to poke around, you can see that if you go to help, you go to about, you can see the version. I'm actually going to do dark mode. I like dark mode better, but you can do whatever you want. And that's what's cool about this new version. So you can see the build, 
close that out. Uh, let's see what else you can see here. You can see if it's, there's any updates and you can update your stuff to a uh, data store path or, you know, VIBs, you know, whatever. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that now. And tools and links, you can see like get vCenter, go ahead and go out there and get vCenter and all that good stuff. So obviously we don't, we're not going to get that now, but yeah, this pretty much sums up this video. Hopefully just been informative for you guys. If you have any questions, please leave it in the description or the comments below and much more to come. And thank you so much for joining me.